Hey guys, it's JStars360 here giving you guys my thoughts on The Great Gatsby. First off, if the written review isn't there, it's because I haven't read it and I don't feel like writing it. I don't have much of it. No. Well, you'll find out. But anyway, I haven't read it yet, so if you're curious as to why it's not there, that's why. I'll, maybe I'll write it today. Maybe I'll write it tomorrow. No, I'll, I'll probably write it today, but I just don't feel like writing it right now. So, as you can tell by the title, I review The Great Gatsby. And if you want to know what I thought of it, I honestly have no clue what to make of this movie. I mean, I just left this movie not knowing how to feel. If it was good, if it was bad, if I really just didn't know how to feel. Which, I don't know, it, the last time I felt like this was with... When I saw Moonrise Kingdom. But that movie, I know how I felt about it. I really like that movie. I just don't didn't know why I love that movie so much. There was like this charm to it that I couldn't exactly describe it. That's a review for another time. This movie, I really didn't know how to feel about it. I mean, I know it's getting a lot of criticism. And I guess I can understand where it's coming from. But I just really don't know what to make of this movie. Alright, well, so let's go through, like, you know, character story. All right, let's start with the characters. No, story. All right, all right, let's start with the story. Which, first off, is more or less the same thing as the book. I mean, if you've read Great Gatsby, it's pretty familiar. I mean, they don't change that much. I mean, with any adaptation, there's some things that... I haven't read the book in years, but I feel like there's certain things that were explored more in the book, the movie sort of didn't focus on as much. Like, we got a lot of Gatsby and his relationship with Daisy, but not as much focus on, like, other characters like Myrtle and that other guy at the gas station. Not a lot of him. And I feel like there was a lot more of him. But yeah, for a while it focuses a lot on Nick's character, then it focuses on Gatsby. But... Again, I haven't read the book in a while, so I really don't know. I will say this. There's some stuff that they added into the film that, again, I really don't know how to feel about it. For one thing, there was a lot more flirting between Gatsby and Daisy. If I remember correctly from the book, which I have not read in almost four years, um... There was, I don't think they even flirted, or if they did, it was very minor, but here they imply a lot of flirting, and I don't remember doing that. Also, there is a scene that I, sorry about that. There is a scene that I clearly know for a fact is in the book, and that's the scene where Nick Caro is at the house, and there's this woman trying to hit on him, and... He gets drunk, and they're all partying, drunk, drinking, and getting, get, having sex, and I, that was clearly not in the book. I mean, I, I really don't know how to feel about this. It's an interesting scene, but again, I really am not that familiar with Gatsby to the point where I can make an opinion that it, you're going to hear me say that a lot, but it's true. I don't, when I read that book in book. You know, I studied very intently with a lot of themes and ideas, and and I and I'm much more of a dissent to the book, but now I don't. So again, I really don't have much of an opinion. <laughs> that might as well be the title. The review. This is <laughs> the review is that I don't have an opinion. But anyway, so that was in the book. Also, they they Nick's still narrating, but. There's this whole plot line where he's telling the story to this, like, doctor guy. You know how in The Lone Ranger it's like a story within a story? Yeah, that's kind of what they're doing here. But, you know, they don't do it too much. Like, half the time you forget that Nick's, like, telling the story to a doctor. So I forgot about it. Now, there are some things that I know for a fact kind of bothered me. Again, as I said before, certain things could have been flushed out better. But, first off, I think some things in the book were spelled out a little too much. Like, 
the, the billboard, which is supposed to represent God, but the film, like, hammers that in. Like, I remember in the book, it was kind of subtle, like, they don't, I don't think they ever flat out say it's God, but this movie, they really emphasize it. And it kind of felt insulting to the audience's intelligence. I mean, we've read the book, I think everyone knows it. That's what it's supposed to represent. You don't have to tell us. Also, this is a personal problem for me. At some point, the narrative started to drag. Like, it, you could really feel it's like... There are some long movies where they go by fast, like Star Trek Into Darkness, which flowed really went by quickly, and Butler flowed nicely. But this movie, you could feel its length. And I... You could feel its length, and... You could feel its... Oh, I just like that. You could feel its length, and, you know, at one point I was starting to get tired, like, get on with it, like... I feel like they could have maybe written it so it flowed better and it didn't drag so much. But it wasn't that bad. I've seen movies that are far worse in that department, like Lone Ranger, which I need to watch. I'm, don't worry, I'll do a full review of it eventually for you guys if you want me to. And there's this one other... Pro All right, the final issue I have with the story, well, is something... Probably the reason why I think some people probably, why critics are turned off by this movie, and that there's a lot of really unintentionally funny moments in the first and second quarter. There's some funny, mom intentionally funny moments, then you have these moments that are just silly, just acting-wise, story-wise, just all over goofy. Again, the, the biggest thing for me, which was... Actually, I kind of forget what they are. But, so I'm just going to go into the one which I know is, which wasn't the one I was thinking of, but it's character related, which is Gatsby and how often he says the word, I think it's old sport. Hang on, let me look it up. I know this video is like really unorganized, but I again I really don't have much of an opinion. Old Spart, which he says so many times in this movie. Like you can make a drinking game out of the number of times he says old sport. Like he'll sometimes say it in like back to back in sentences. Like some it's ridiculous just how many times he says old sport, old sport, old sport. And I was watching this with people, and they were laughing every time he said that. And I don't blame them. It's so ridiculous. I mean, I get why they're doing it. I mean, you know, it's the whole gentleman act. He learned to say it. But, you know, I think we get it after the first couple times. He doesn't need to say it, like, every single, like, ten times every time he's on screen. You know, you can just have him say it every now and then as a greeting. You don't need to have him say it all the time. That was really stupid. All right, Sammy. Onto the characters. Again, I think they're more or less the same as the book. I haven't read, again, I haven't read it well, so I don't know how much they've changed, but from what I can recall, they're more or less the same. The actors clearly were trying, DiCaprio clearly was trying, from my opinion, he clearly was trying to get into the role, and he was doing a good job, except for the fact that I could tell as DiCaprio, but, you know, he was, he was into the role, I can understand that. He was into the role, so I'm not going to blame him. I didn't see... I saw DiCaprio, but I didn't see DiCaprio. Toby McGuire, who played Nick Cara, on the other hand, I could tell it was him the whole time. Like, I, I just saw Toby McGuire. But he was good. Never mind. It was good to see him again. He plays Spider-Man, my favorite Marvel superhero, so I really don't care. Again, there was... I said before, there was a bit more focus on Nick's character... And a lot of focus on Gatsby and his relationship with Daisy. Oh, yeah, one thing I find amusing in the film is how they try to obscure Gatsby's appearance, keep him a mystery. Yet on, you can clearly see him on the posters. Like, I mean, 
I know it's supposed to be a big reveal, but maybe for for Nick it is, but for the audience, it's like, we know what he looks like. We know it's DiCaprio. We've seen the posters. So, who knows. But, yeah, maybe it was for Nick, too. Alright, now last thing I want to talk about is presentation. This film was made in 3D, and it clearly shows there's a lot of shots that are like, where the film's saying, you should be watching this in 3D. And it was very spectacle. Like, especially during the party scenes, which were, presentation-wise, I think the highlight of the film. They were big, they were exaggerated, they were crazy, over-the-top, wild. And it looked really nice. And yeah, see, you see this movie in 3D if you get a chance, because it's clearly meant to be seen that way. Now, one thing that people... I've heard some people criticize about the movie is the fact that they use music from a completely different time period. And I will admit, it is weird when we kept to Gatsby's party and we'll hear, like, club music from our time. I mean, it feels out of place. I mean, completely different time period, like a hundred-year difference, I think. No, n not a hundred years. Less than that, but still. And I understand where they're coming from. I will admit, it's weird. and I, But I, I understand where they're coming from. They want to show show a contrast between this kind of party and how we party now. But, you know, I kind of wish they had used music that found music from the time period that sort of matched that to get that across. And, yeah. Across, but, you know, it, it bothered me a bit, but they didn't do it that much. Like, again, I feel like the spectacle and silly moments in the film that I was talking about earlier sort of die down after a while, so it didn't bother me as much as other people did. And... Let's see, last thing they use, there's interesting use of lighting in the flashback sequences, like certain characters will be in black and white. So yeah, that's all I have to say about this movie. I'm, I really don't have much opinion, it's the same as the book, they just tell, focus on certain things, tell certain things differently really comes through in some of the scenes they added and the presentation. Like, I think that's where people are going to divide it, because there's a lot of spectacle in this movie. A lot of rap, a lot of wild stuff. So they focus on various things. Again, I haven't read Great Gatsby in a while, so I don't have much opinion on it. Would I recommend this film? I don't know. It's definitely an interesting film. I'd say check it out, because, you know, it... You know, it... Because, again, it's very rare where I'll walk out of a film and not know what to make of it. And... Make of it. And I'm just going to stop it, because I'm just rambling at this point again. Don't have much of an opinion, so I'm just rambling and uncertain, because I that's how I feel about the film. It's not like other films I have a clear, strong opinion of it. Like those free films that I still need to do video reviews of full-length video reviews of, anyway. But yeah, so if I write up the review of the movie, I'll be sure to put that up, even though it's going to be hard for me to review something I don't have much an opinion on. But yeah, I'm going to wrap it up now. It's Stars 360 signing out. And stay tuned, because I'm going to do another video in a bit on the trailer that came out for RoboCop. See you then.